Our top story tonight, students won't get to leave for lunch at any Aurora Public High School. Good evening, I'm Kelly Worthman. The new closed campus policy comes after two recent shootings involving students. One was outside Aurora Central High, the other outside Hinkley High School. CBS 4's Connor McHugh joins us live from Aurora. And Aurora, this new change, or Connor, this new change rather, goes into effect right away, I understand. Yeah, Kelly, starting Monday when students return to class, all of the high schools within APS will be moved to a closed campus. It's one of a few different adjustments the district is making at a time when the community and its leaders are looking for ways to address this ongoing public health crisis that is youth violence. This announcement came during a prayer event at Nome Park in Aurora. That's the site of a shooting that left six students from nearby Aurora Central High School injured. It happened on the 15th during school hours. Four days later, three more teens were injured during another shooting in the parking lot at nearby Hinkley High School. Saturday's healing event planned by local church, the Purpose Center, was about the community gathering in prayer. Rico Wint, the lead pastor, was joined by the Aurora mayor, police chief, and students as well as members of the community. APS Superintendent Rico Munn was also there and spoke to the crowd about the district's response to the recent violence. We know that includes the move to close high school campuses, which would keep students from leaving during their lunch break. In a letter to parents late this week, Munn also said the district will take other steps to prioritize student safety and well-being. That includes adding additional security and mental health support at schools as needed. Now, spokesperson for APS says this change to closed campuses will stay in effect at least through winter break. At that point, district leaders will reevaluate whether this needs to continue further on in the school year. In Aurora, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.